Hello, I'm Marcus Ragus. I'm a horticulturist. Let me show you what's good for your soils. In nature, plants survive without any artificial inputs. Take for example this wattle tree. This particular plant has an association with actual organisms that live in its root system and on its root system that help it to survive in these sort of drastically poor soils. In summertime, grasses like native grasses tend to look dead. So are the plants still alive? Well they are, and they're alive under here, under this big thick mulch layer of old dry grass. And we have in this soil microorganisms and organism life that help this grass to actually function and grow even in the dry weather. So they don't rely on any sort of manure inputs, any sort of artificial fertilizers, anything like that. They're able to cope and they've coped for hundreds of thousands of years. We saw what organism activity can actually do for growth of native plants. Let's have a look at what we need to do for an organic vegetable patch. If we have a look down here, you can see this is wonderful compost material. Beautiful, lovely, luscious compost, and that's what you're looking at, that addition of organic materials. That is loaded with organic life. What we're trying to do is encourage that organism activity in the soil, which in turn will release the nutrients and benefit the plants growing in it. Compost is one of the best materials to add to a garden. It has all the elements that the plant needs to grow well. So what we do is, a garden soil like this that hasn't been worked for quite a while, it needs to have that organic compost added back into it. So when we lay our compost on the soil surface, what we want to do is just spread it out over the area that we want covered first. You can add up to 100 litres of good compost per square metre, depending on your soil. So the organism life that we have added via the compost will improve the soil and therefore improve the plants that you're growing in it. Next stage is to add some additional nutrients, some of the best types of organic stimulants if you like, are things like your manures and this is a classic example of a pelletised manure. So organic pellets like this are applied at a rate of around about 100 grams or so per square metre. So nothing more than that and what we're looking at is roughly a handful and a half per square metre. The other thing that we need is a material known as rock dust and this is basically crushed rock and it has some special properties for soils. You don't need to add a lot of this material to a soil, but it's fantastic stuff and it adds the mineral component and also encourages and holds on to nutrients in that soil. So when we're applying rock dust, we can apply that at a rate of about 100, 150 grams per square metre. So now that we've got it to this stage, we need to dig it in. What we want to do is just gently invert the material into that layer, not too heavy. The more that you dig, the more that you actually disturb the soil profile, the more that you tend to damage things like the structure of the soil, you damage things like the organism life in there, and once again, all of that then sets back the plants that you put in there in the long term. So all these tips and tricks are going to turn your ordinary patch into a blooming beauty.